Hi, I'm Dan Winter. I'm here with Roger Green for FractalWaveForecast.com. And we're here to explain to you uh, the exciting developments in understanding coherence and how stock markets emerge from chaos. Uh, my particular background here, it's pretty powerful and unique. I was the one credited in the literature with inventing how to measure heart coherence. So actually the background is that I was a graduate <laughs> student in psychophysiology and biofeedback. And I have a lifetime experience, 30 years in biofeedback. And what we pioneered with my heart tuner invention was how to measure heart coherence. It was, it was very cool, it's almost sexy, it was lots of fun and sometimes even romantic. That we, we were using what's called a second order power spectrum, which is called a sepstrum, to quantify the amount of internal coherence in the EKG. So you can imagine that if you're doing a harmonic analysis and then there's a number of peaks, a number of harmonics present, if the ratio between the contained harmonics is itself coherence, the internal phase coherence was quantified by this septum. And it was, <laughs> it was pretty dramatic because if you say you love somebody and you in fact mean it, it, was, it is actually measurable. This is my heart tuner invention. That you'd see this internal coherence peak rise if you were telling the truth. In other words, coherence is a shareable wave and your heart knows which waves can be shared internal phase coherence and your heart becomes a laser and when your heart is coherence coherent it actually means biologically your cells have checked and that wave can be shared and that was called internal phase coherence it's cool stuff and we read all about it well but there's a bit of fame here in terms of the history of the measurement of heart coherence and this is my my background so uh, in fact uh, there was a film pie the movie made about this discovery of coherence and all kinds of controversy and i was involved in that and uh, it's a very colorful story the point is we realized that when we were quantifying the onset of coherence in a biologic oscillator we could in effect discover when any oscillator was emerging from chaos now the stock market is obviously a biologic oscillator of sorts now there's many times when that oscillator is not really behaving with much biologic, os biologic coherence. However, <laughs> there are times when <clears throat> you can very dramatically predict the next move based on the study of coherence. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of intro to the physics principle behind this fractal pathways group. And it's now called fractalwaveforecast.com. And here is the core principle. When you take a harmonic analysis of the price, say, value of a stock or even of a forex, and you look at that harmonic analysis in a walking fashion from 3, 6, 9 to 12 months, on the order of 3, 6, 9 months, and you walk that FFT, that harmonic analysis, forward in time, and you look at the internal harmonics the, in the power spectra, and then you take the first, second, and third harmonic of the presence, in other words, first of all, if the wave is entirely, if the wave is entirely chaotic, then you're not going to get much and we're not going to call a prediction. However, there are many, many powerful occasions on which proper power spectra over a time will yield a harmonic analysis that shows either a first, second, third order harmonic which reach over a certain critical threshold. Now this was my initial insight, was to quantify the amount of coherence in the primary harmonics and then look what those ratios looked like when the predictive value is there. And then after, well, so I had what 30 years of work on the measurement of coherence, but now we have about oh two, three, four years of intense work with our collaborator in deep a PhD mathematician, scientist specializing in, in stock analysis, Merrill, uh, who was here in Europe and in the States. A very advanced uh, skill here in the software programming of harmonic analysis for predictive value. And by tuning this understanding of when the first, second, and third harmonic are over a certain critical threshold, when does that accurately predict the next move? <laughs> and you see, if you know the wave shape of where that stock has been going based on the second, first, second, or third order harmonic analysis, not only do you know when is it going to go down or up, but you know how long it's going to take for it to go down and then back up again. 
which says, or vice versa, you know how long it's, when it's going to go up and how long it's going to take before it goes down again, because you know the wave shape. What that means is not only can you predict, oh yes, you know, which stock to buy because the wave is going up and you know something about the wave shape, but you know how long it's going to be before it goes back down, which means you also have information about when to get out of that stock. Now, I know you could think this sounds all very nice and pretty, and, but a bit theoretical. It has been done before, but no, it hasn't been done before. Not in this way at all. Nothing close. And the proof is in the pudding, and we have the proof. First, we did this on the broad stock market analysis. We have, have abundant data, and we invite you to look at that data. It's amazing. Serious predictive value. And then for our first serious commercial marketing trial, we focused just on the Forex, the Euro dollar. And we did fabulously. The data is seriously impressive. I ask you to look at that data. And we have serious number crunching and market analysis to show that we can predict the Forex. And I'm even more excited now that I've seen how well that works to see that implemented now for the full stock market analysis, which was in the original testing and in fact was successful. So that is the introduction. It's a harmonic analysis, but it's not just harmonic stuff. It's a harmonic analysis of internal phase coherence, which is, you know, not, I'm speaking from my heart, as it were, because we were analyzing hard harmonics. And we applied that to the stock market as a living biologic oscillator. And you can even ask, well, why does the stock market oscillate like a living being? Well, guess what? <laughs> you know, you have the solar effect and everybody knows the planetary and there's all these rhythms that affect biology. Well, there are major times when the stock market responds to biologic variables. And we don't even need to know what that variable is, but we can absolutely show when that variable reaches a critical threshold to make the wave shape predictive. Internal phase coherence predicts when the market emerges from chaos. This is cool. This is fun. Check it out. Roger has all the information. It's fractalwaveforecast.com. Thank you. Dan Winter here, the inventor of heart coherence.